again this is um, creating a vector drawing which is this from a pencil drawing or anything you've got off the internet if you want to create a vector have a look at it that's it through a uh, wireframe so I've already done this but I'll do it again so you bring your picture in again as a, as a layer if you want or just bring it in and lock it down which is command and number two uh, then we just zoom in so we have the basic outline pen tool so let's start down here and we just literally outlining what we've drawn um, I wouldn't go to um, you know don't do too much with this again we're just creating the thick border outline you can do a stroke line if you wanted to, some people do, I particularly don't because this gives me a basis of of an outline which is a lot lot easier um, and a lot quicker I, th I find. If you're using stroke lines which obviously do work it's a lot more accurate and I think it doesn't look kind of drawn in a way it looks very computer manufactured and I, yeah fair enough there's a, there's a there's a place for that but this is a is a is a monster or you know that's what we're going for we're going for something see the node there won't move so i have to try it again that's it um yes i'm not zooming in on this simply because i've done this many many times um you can you can zoom in and out as much as you want you can you know i'm just giving you what i would do so um this is from many many years of doing stuff like this so I don't I'm not generally and I've got to this point now I don't know what's here I do know what's here but for if you're drawing it then I would take off this fill easy easiest way to do that you can click it and you go over here and select thing or you can literally drag click and hold that one drag it onto that one and it's as easy as that so we're just coming up here this is its hand again we're not being too accurate here we just finishing this off so that's that there's the outline very quickly now let's do the as I'm going to call it the red bit which you can have any colour you want so from here so I know it's going to go all the way around here pass its tooth down there and not the feet or the arm so the better way to do that is just to literally select it here that's his eye as you full well know so we'll come around here and we'll just keep it as quick as possible that's that so as easy as that now if you notice on here we've got a cross a bit coming in we didn't pay attention so if I select that end node there delete that move that down like that select them both with the white arrow tool do command and J which is join joins it up so that's that finished so there's our orange bit we need the eye now now I don't want a perfect eye so I'm just going to draw a something like circle so let's have a look fine now we want the coloured section so let's just we don't want that node to be quite like that so I cancel it so as you notice I stop it so when I click there it takes that direction off so you can create your own direction so there's that bit we need now a center center bit now if you want let's do a um, a proper circle in the middle there so that and that and we want some sort of shadows on here some glittering in its eye so let's do that so there we go that's the eye so this section, this eye here, pretty much just do that, and up again here, so we want to put an eyeball in, and the way I would do that is very simply, I get a circle like that, I know it's the wrong one, bring it over to there, so that will do that bit. And let's get again so we don't want it too much that'll do right and the easiest way to do this 
is to select that and that if you can get hold of it and that and that move it over there copying it so you hold down your option key and well we're not going too far with that so let's move it out of the way and then we do a pathfinder and the divide tool and then so we click that once then do a command shift command and g to ungroup that take off that we don't want that that's all we want left with so we have a look at that in color can't see it so let's fill that with let's do like an off white so there and that can be our let's say he's got purple eyes and that bit wants to be black so there is the chap's eye monster's eye even that'll do so that color is the same as so get your dropper tool up there click on that bit there so that's what you want mm. lock that down so this and that wants to be the purple color so we go back to there purple color fine back to wire again this is black no it's not is it so that and right okay so that yeah it's black is it black yeah it's black so we don't need that technically all we need is this so let's make this a little bit bigger and make that black which is there right so that'll do it a bit bigger with that maybe so these two here are going to be like shadows or glints in its eye we're going to call it so we'll fill those with white and then we'll go to our opacity tool which is over here and let's go to say I don't know 30% that'll do it that's all we need so that is our black so let's make that black now and this is the color of our monster let's go for a nice yucky green color so there he is bring his eye in like that so that's the eye of this side and we're pretty much there now so let's have a look at the I know it's not as Trying to blow it in, it blow it up here. It's not letting. Ah, oh, there you go. We're very slow today. Right. Okay. So, right. Have you see we've got a basic thing down? We need a black around there. So let's lock that down. The eye for some reason it always edited the eye up, and that's why. So we take rid of that. We don't need that. All we need is this. Bring that into there. So let's do a black out around here thing under its eye a little hand and we'll go from there do something but oh, we'll do the tell you what we'll do we'll do the actual um i want to call them horns but they're not there the spikes more than anything else so literally all i'm doing is i'm going to draw them on like that and that is it so let's make them i don't know let's do them what goes well with that color not red obviously yeah do them green so that's not joined because that's tried to go to the side there look so we need to delete that line and redo it so we get that little circle next to it let's just leave them for the time being and then then just um create them all like this i know this one should bleed into the what into the head but let's just again that's touching up if you want to get to it later so all we're doing is these are very quickly And I mean very quickly. So you can just see the basics of this. Unfortunately, I can't do one and then copy it because they're all different sizes. And we are after something a little bit hand drawn in a way. And trust the tool, you know, keep your, uh, you know, some people think, oh, well, that ain't going to do that, I'll change it to this one. You'd be surprised what half these tools do and how easy they are to use. So. All we want here is, we don't want the eye, we just want those spikes. So let's call them, let's do them a green colour like that. That'll do it. That's all we need. So now we need to do an outline around the eye here. So all I'm going to do there is select that eye. This one here. 
copy it fill it with a black add a stroke line to it so I get this fill drag it over to here there's a fill let's do I don't know five I'll do it object path outline stroke which outlines this and then go to Pathfinder and unite and that's that so then you click this, click this, 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 and this. Group that, bring it all to the front. So that is Command, Shift, and front arrow, uh, front bracket, sorry. And then drag that over there. And that is literally, that'll do it. We don't want it too even. So now we're going to create, I would say, let's do our little nose. And all I've done there, very simply, He's just done a little bit of something like that. That's all I want for his nose. That's it. Bring it in a small little bit. Now we had some kind of, you know, little blemishes of saggy eyes or whatever you want to call them. Eye bags, I think they are. I just do that. I probably want one up here. You know, just and just literally mess around like that. So, yeah, let's put. So we want to bring that in. I would say so. This is the easiest way of doing this. I would just literally draw it on. There we are. Let's do a little bit there. Bring it down to here. There we go. That's that bit done. No more than that. So we now need to do his little teeth. So that tooth, literally, I'm just going to do. Make it a little bit of a grey. That'll do for that one. This one on this side, again, just do that. Make it black, because that's the outline. And then do another one this side there. Which is the grey from here. Sorry about that, postman came to the door. So, right, so there's his teeth. Let's do a little bit of a hand on this side. So, we're just gonna follow roughly what we've already got. Ooh. See what happens when you don't pay attention. So I'm not doing a a full on hand here. I'm just going to do a little bit of a black outline. That's all. I'll do that. I have to make that slightly bigger because it looks a little bit weedy. What I'll do for the arm on this side. Um, I think that's about, you know, that'll do. Let's do a shadow between the two. So this is a nice little trick. So you do your, you want to do a line down him, all the way like that. Bring it over to there, bring it back again. You know, you want it round his hand here. Again, just a little bit here, and then down to there. So a fill of nothing. So I'll select that and select the yellow or the body and then go to your divide tool hit divide brings it all to the front ungroup it select that and that side and that one black go to the back unlock your background obviously because that will so you send that to the back lock your background again because otherwise you'll end up in moving it around so now you can select that one side, double click on there, and just make it slightly darker. There you go. There's a little shadow effect. Now, pretty much, so we haven't put his feet in. Let's just put his feet in quickly. We might as well do the job properly. So I'm just going to do like that is one foot. We're off. We are after something a little bit, you know, hand-drawn, graffiti style. That's 
all we want there that's the wrong color so get your drop tool click on there change the color look as that done feet are done uh, I'll show you how to quickly do these again this is the easiest way get a pen tool click up there in the center move it go to there center again come up here move down to center again just literally do that all the way through the entire of the horns. Oh, that was too far. So, and there. Down again. For some reason my Mac is running very slowly today. I've no idea why. Um, let's select the last, I think it's the second to last one. Or is that the last one? I don't know. Nope, this is the last one here. And that's it. Make that a fill of nothing. Select it. So we've got all those lines there. And then we go to each individual uh, horn or scale or whatever you want to call them. Select those as well. And then do a divide tool. So and then ungroup it and then select the ones that you want. So you want that side of each one. So just go down and select them. And double click your colour palette on this side and go slightly darker. Done. So it's as quick as that. So pretty much we now have created our little monster and we do little blemishes. So we might want to make that hand put some shadow on there put some shadow on his teeth like we've got here so now let's get rid of our background we don't need that image let's group them all together so there's one and there's the, another one that we did before spent a bit more time on this one than we did on this one but you get the actual idea so that is how to create anything vector um, from anything you bring in pretty much in Adobe Illustrator 6 um and it's quite quick quite easy anything you need to know leave it in the comments write a comment like it share it do what you want enjoy thank you